I don't care anyway. Oh, it's bad. Hi everyone, welcome back to What I Eat video series. Today, my husband and I are going to try out a vegan restaurant. Initially, I found this place when I was watching the Bad Vegan documentary on Netflix. This restaurant is owned by the documentary subject Sarma Melngeli's ex-boyfriend Matthew Kinney. Matthew Kinney himself is a renowned chef specializing in plant-based cuisine. This restaurant is located inside the Saks Fifth Avenue building on Michigan Avenue in Chicago, precisely on the 7th floor. When I was seated, my seat was filled with crumbs from the previous customer. Although from the get-go, it seems like a great place for brunch and catching up with friends. First thing we do is to check out the menu. The menu's price is not shown on the website, but here's the full menu that we got from scanning the barcode on the table. First, we got this Macintosh cider for $7 to share. Next, we ordered this kimchi dumpling for $15. It was said to be the most favorite dish on the menu. Inside, there are cashew, cilantro, coconut, red cabbage. I have no idea what the leaf that wraps them all is supposed to be. It tastes like leaves, not like dumpling skin. I was a little bit surprised that it was cold. For $15, it tastes exquisite. All the deliciousness just exploded in my mouth. It doesn't even taste like kimchi, but it's good. For the entree, I ordered almond udon for $21. The udon is topped with tofu, nori, shimeji mushroom, bok choy, shisho, togarashi. This is a vegan restaurant so of course the broth is not made out of katsuboshi or tonkotsu. Surprisingly, the broth is made out of savory almond milk. I believe they also put kelp in the broth as well. The texture of the noodles feels so silky. I'm not sure what they made out of, but it doesn't feel like regular udon noodles. Everything is so rich in taste. It would be great though if the tofu was deep fried coated with potato starch like agedashi tofu. My husband ordered kelp noodle casio e pepe for $19. It is cashew, black pepper cream, sugar snap peas, pea sprouts, crispy oil cured olives. It tastes good but he doesn't really like it. I think we're both expecting a hot dish but this dish is cold as heck. It's unique, like I've never tried something like this before in our When I tried it, it was kind of sour. It's it's really not my cup of tea. But I let my husband have the almond noodle while I finished this kelp noodle. For dessert, we're having chocolate travel slice for $12. I didn't ask my husband what he would like and I, I felt bad right away for letting the wait staff know that I want chocolate travel slice without asking his opinion. My husband said the dessert was not worth it as it tastes like one of those Costco frozen dessert. In the end, we spent around $98 including tips. It is a little bit pricey and we don't go to slightly fancy restaurants often as we're not making a million dollars a year. If YouTube monetizes my channel, then maybe I'll go to this restaurant just to record myself eating. Overall, I like this vegan restaurant. It is nice for a special outing and just to try out as we don't come across a lot of vegan food around. If you like this video, please click that like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.